I'm delighted to be joined uh, in today's interview by, oh, are you okay? Uh, but by Manish Tendek, who is the president and CEO of Ongabok. Manish, thank you so much for being with us. Um, I'd like you to, if you could introduce yourself and tell everyone a bit about you, your background, and any sort of significant career highlights to date. Well, thank you, first of all, uh, Katie. And I think, um, you know, we all are spending our time doing these interviews from home. And it's, it's, it's different. Um, look, I'm Manish Chandak. I'm the CEO of Angerbuck. Um, and I have been in this role for about five years. And um, I, I actually, my background is in systems integration and consulting. And that's where I came from. Technology consulting, technology systems integration, I ran one of the companies in the past called Quillage in the US that was a national systems integrator for Microsoft and others. So a very heavy tech background. And I think in that world, we did a lot of work um, post that world into customer engagement, digital solutions, CRM solutions. So I come with that background into Ungerbach. And obviously the big transition there for me is we were in the past building systems by combining a whole bunch of different systems. And I think we kind of quickly realized how inefficient that was. And then here at Ungerbach now, obviously, it's it's a platform that we build with our product company. So. Uh, and obviously, you, you're, you're approaching your fifth year anniversary as CEO and president of Ungerbach, and you were CTO for 11 months prior to that. Um, you know, so how's your Ungerbach journey been so far? Very, very delightful. Um, first of all, this industry is amazing. We're in the industry that brings people together. However, in these times, it's, it's made us difficult, but by and large, it's a, it's a very delightful industry to be in. And with Ungerbach too, when I came here, this company had one of the most fantastic legacies. This will be our 35th year, so we'll be celebrating our 35th year anniversary this year. So not many companies in technology last this long. And so that, that was really great for me to come into this organization from that standpoint. And the other thing that's really amazing about this organization is we're very global. And that is uh, really enjoyable, interesting as you travel around the world and you have customers in 50 plus countries and such. So, um, you know, I think that, that's, been, that's been really, really fun uh, to be part of the organization. And we've done a lot of different things in the last five years that has significantly transformed the organization. So, uh, and obviously, you know, Ungerbook is globally renowned as the leading event management solutions company. Uh, obviously, you know, sports venue business readers have followed your journey and, uh, you know, so you're one of our VIP sponsors. So perhaps can you tell us a bit more about um, Ungerbook services, the client and the market sure. in which you're sure. involved? Yeah, absolutely. Let me sort of maybe give a little broader picture, just what we've done in the five years and give you a little bit of a uh, picture from there. Uh, first of all, I think we worked a lot on uh, our vision, um, our brand, our logo, our website. If you see, it's very clear now who we are. Uh, we are the world's events platform. And we've kind of taken that approach because a lot of events business evolve. You know, today you might be doing events in a venue Tomorrow you want, might want to add membership, then you might want to add food, then you want to, might want to add some different uh, experiences. If it's an evolving industry, you can't go and just buy one piece of software that does something. So we felt very much that we needed a platform. So that was number one. I think it really clarified who we are, which we are the world's events platform. And for, you know, when I say worlds, what we mean is, worlds means, you know, all, the, all of the countries, all of the major countries, so 50 plus countries, was also means multiple languages. A lot of companies in America and other places think was means English. Uh, yes, while that's great, uh, it also means multiple languages. So for us, we translate our software. We have employees that speak so many languages and, and we translate our software automatically in seven languages. Was also means small customers and really large customers. So all the way from some of the top stadiums in the world and Expo Dubai and some of the top convention centers, to the smaller ones as well. We want our platform to be very accessible. And then world also means multiple market segments, meaning we can serve the stadiums, but we can also serve the performing arts theaters, we can also serve the convention centers. So it means that we take a broader view, a lot of corporates and, and, and things like that. So really have a technology platform. I think that was the one big thing we did is really clarified who we are. I think the other big thing we did is community. 
um, and I, I, I think I said this is a very delightful industry, but as you know, we're always listed as one of the top uh, companies to work for. And what that means is our employees are really excited to work here, which means that they provide really great service. And with that, I think one of my proudest achievements is that we've created a massive community of event professionals throughout the globe. So if you go to our community platform, uh, in any given month, there are probably 20,000 people that log in to that community, searching for answers, talking to each other. So we've created this massive global community and, and, and that's really been impactful. And to enhance that community, we've hired a lot of people from the industry. People who've been at the stadiums, people who've been at the theaters, people who've been in the state, in, you know, serving visitors at Disneyland and so on. So we've actually built up a community, you know, thinking through all of those things. And now, like at every event, at every association, you'll see younger buck present. We feel like we're so much part of the industry, right? And then I think the third big accomplishment for us is the engineering and innovations. We have consistently grown our R&D by 20% in the last five years that I've been here. Uh, our, our company, and, and we've seen the fruits of it. We've seen the response from the customers. You know, last year our business grew by 17%, um, just organically, no acquisition, nothing, just organically. And that, that, that goes a long way to say, saying that customers really, really respond when you have a highly innovative product and a highly usable product. So those have been some of the, some of the really big accomplishments sort of over the last five years and, and where we have evolved. So coming back to sort of the customers that we're serving now, we're looking at all of these market segments and, and really sort of adjusting our platform to the terminology to the reporting, to the analytics of those specific industry segments. So if you look at our website, you'll see stadiums, arenas, performing art theaters, um, corporates, universities, you know, so we've kind of organized ourselves that way. And from a service standpoint, we, you know, a lot of people in technology ask questions like, do you do CRM? Do you do this? Do you do that? For us, we are the software for that for that business. Why have it broken like this in multiple pieces and spend all this time integrating and thinking through it? So we take a little bit more holistic and a unified view to say we are a cloud service and we serve your business and these are all of the elements we do for it. So, so I think what you will see has evolved into is anywhere there is space, there is services, there is food, visitor, audience, we will evolve into that particular market segment and make sure that we're serving it the right way. And obviously, at the moment, <clears throat> unfortunately, due to this horrendous global pandemic, all the doors to all of the aforementioned are closed. Um, but I know um, Ungerbuck is one of those companies that's being very proactive um, and, it's, you know, you're sort of providing much needed technology training at the moment, which, you know, is so important. Um, so perhaps you can tell us more about the learning tools that you've launched. Um, and the Younger Book Unite Industry Summit? I think that's a, that's a great question. I, you know, I, it's a very depressing time, but at the same time, we also know that there probably won't be another time in our future, and I hope not, where everything stops. And, and one of the messages I gave to my team is that I don't want you, after everything's opened up, to say, I wish I had done this when everything was closed. You know, and so we've kind of taken that to heart to say, for our customers, what can we do to allow them to digital transform rapidly? You know, in the past, when we tried to do big digital transformation projects for our customers, the problem was, no, 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 you can't do it right now. We have the leak going on. No, no, you can't do it right now. We have a major, major event going on. Uh, you know, so there was always these considerations that we had to work around. Uh, right now, and, and also one of the big challenges in our industry from a digital transformation standpoint, is that we're so busy, we don't have time to learn. We don't have time to learn. And, and the times that we're in right now, you and I are talking about Zoom meetings. We probably never did that before. So everybody's being forced to be so technologically advanced right now. It's a good time. And what we have done is we have taken all our resources, our consultants, our instructional designers, and we've created a massive learning platform for the industry. And we have launched a whole bunch of courses in there. These are not courses for IT people. These are courses for end users. If you're in sales, if you're in accounts receivable, if you're in event management, it's courses specifically designed for those people. And so, uh, you know, we just launched it. Literally, it's only been about a month or month and a half. We have over 4,000 people registered and taking courses. So it's, it's really 
been great. And I've had some of the customers saying, look, uh, you know, we still have people uh, that are working um, and we want to make sure we can, we are taking advantage of it. And, he, and they're saying, we're going to make sure our people do this. So that, that has been an incredible offering. And I, I really, I'm so excited by it because it's an end, end users don't get the attention. They don't always get all of the learning tools. And there are so many smart people in the industry. They just haven't had the opportunity to learn technology. And I think, so what we've done is all these courses are free unlimited to all of our customers and all of our customer users. So they can go in there, they can explore. And today they might be in an area of sales, but it doesn't stop them to look at, looking at an event management course as well and maybe taking it. So, so it's, a, it's a big step for us and, and we, we really feel this is an exciting thing. And to add to that, we did the virtual conferences. As you mentioned, the virtual conferences were really spectacular because we got to see presenters and customer presenters via Zoom and via GoToMeeting and such. Um, and recently we've been doing customer panels and it's really been helpful to get the customer's point of view, what, what you're doing during this time. I would say that we don't want to let the crisis go to waste in the sense that we don't want to regret three months later to say, you know what, we could have done so much, why didn't we do that? And, and so we are fully engaged right now to try to try to do that. Our next step coming up uh, literally in a month or two will be a whole certification program that builds on top of the training program. And, and the reason is, look, everybody's not going to be fortunate to have jobs after all of this. And people are going to want to differentiate themselves. Like, hey, I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to do what it takes. And one of the things they can go and do is say, I, I, learn, I learn technology quickly and I'm certified. So I can help you even more in a venue or in a stadium. So that's what we are trying to accomplish. And um, so we have different levels of certifications by market segment that we're getting ready to launch. And so sort of finally, um, how do you foresee, you know, the sports, the entertainment, the leisure industries all evolving post pandemic? Yeah. I, I almost wish it goes back to where it was. <laughs> Um, look, I think a couple of things. Uh, first, in my mind, um, it, it will become more premium. These personal experiences, I think, will become more premium, and I think people will value them even more. Um, they, they, I think it will be more about quality versus quantity. You know, it's, it may not be about going to tons of games, but it may be about going to fewer games and really having a deeper experience and valuing that experience even more than, than we probably did before. So I think that's that's a big part of it. I think as far as the event management side of it, I think everything digital, everything paperless, and everything more agile. I think as an industry, we've always been known for sort of planning longer and you know really saying, tell us exactly how many attendees you're going to have two months in advance. We have to plan. I think the more the customers are going to expect a lot more agility from us. Agility to be willing to make changes, agility to be willing to be adjust, uh, to be more uh, accommodating. I think that's really going to be uh, another another big change. And I think finally, uh, digital collaboration. You know, it's not going to be through emails. It's not going to be through paper. It's going to to be through video and collaborative portals. That's how we're going to design events. Much more digitally visual and digitally collaborative. And I think those changes are. Already were happening, but this is really going to push us over the edge here, where the, all of these things are going to be very much expected. So, so there is, you know, d despite all the doom and gloom, there is definitely a silver lining to the pandemic in the fact that we do now, you know, we're all at home, we've got time to learn, we've got time to learn new skills. We've got time to streamline and diversify our businesses. Um, you know, it's not a time to sit on our laurels and do nothing. 100%. And that's really our message to all of our customers and all of our employees. It's time to reconfigure. It's time to, re to innovate. And, it, and, and we certainly don't want to be on the other end of this and say, oh, we wish we'd have done all of these things back, back in those days. So... That's perfect. Thank you so much, Manish. That was a great interview. Uh, and I know our viewers, who were once our readers, uh, will be very interested to hear what you have to say. So thank you so much for your time.